my channel, Nicole. <coughs> Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Nicole Elise here. So today I am going to be doing my makeup essentials video. I basically went into my makeup counter and makeup bag and really just like looked at everything and was like, what is something that's always been in my bag? Something that I don't wanna ever part with. These are products that I literally use all the time, have used for years, if not like just a long time, that's just not gonna, it's not going anywhere, let's just put it that way. And I think that you guys will love and you'll probably thank me later. And there's not like six different blushes and five different bronzers. This is like one of each of everything pretty much. If you guys wanna see me do like essential videos for fashion or skincare, lifestyle, mommy, anything, you guys can leave your comments down below on what category you'd like to see from me. Before we jump into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also come follow me on my Instagram per usual. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. The first one we're gonna talk about is primer, and I am addicted to this primer, okay? I wear this without makeup, I wear it with makeup. I just think it gives the most soft lit highlight from within, so healthy looking. I just truly love this. It's the Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus by Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury is one of my favorite makeup brands. I know I have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products that I do show in videos and things like that. I'm not sponsored by them by any means means at all. I just genuinely like the kind of aesthetic that that company goes for. Very glowy, dewy, youthful looking, like lit from within highlight. I just truly love it. It also does have skin benefits in it, so it is nice to wear on days where I'm not wearing makeup, but I also just love the way it makes my skin look. I just want to show you guys like how pretty it looks on the skin. It just is so soft and it just looks really good on the face and I truly think it's one of the best primers out there. Next product I wanna talk about, you guys have seen me talk about this as well. This is another Charlotte Tilbury product. Um, it is the Hollywood Flawless Filter and it's for a superstar youth glow. And mine's in the shade number five tan and it truly is such a game changer when it comes to my makeup. This is something you can put on if you're not feeling like wearing to moisturizer or foundation or anything like that. Like this just looks so good on the skin. There's hard, there's not a ton of coverage at all. I would not consider this a foundation or like a tinted moisturizer by any means because there are only like five shades. I think this is like the darkest shade. Um, but I like to put it on underneath makeup or sometimes I'll put it on when I have like foundation or um, tinted moisturizer on. I'll put it kind of on the high points of my face to kind of accentuate the youthful glow because I am all about that dewy look as you will tell later on in this video throughout all the products that I'm showing you. I just really like it's a multi-purpose product. I use it all the time. Um, I went on to a little like getaway vacation real quick for like literally two days to Santa Barbara and this was really nice just to have because I kind of threw it all over my face and I felt really like nice and glowy at the beach and things like that. Um, and it's just a really great product and I think a lot of you guys will like it. I do really love the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers because they are more of like a natural finish in a concealer. So a lot of concealers sometimes you'll find them to be a little bit too matte or they might be too full coverage. I like something right in the middle. I don't necessarily love super full coverage concealers. Um, I tend to like more sheer to buildable concealers, but the reason why I like buildable is that you get the best of both worlds so that you can build it up that if you are doing like a super full coverage glam look, you could totally like build this up for sure, which is why I have it in my kit and I've always had it in my like makeup collection for so long. If you're not wearing any kind of like tinted moisturizer or um, foundation. This is really nice to just put on your skin and buff it out with like some highlight and it looks really, really, really pretty. So um, I definitely recommend this one. I wanted to show you guys another concealer and you guys know that I'm going to talk about this because I've used this before so many times, but it is the Magical Way Liquid Concealers by... Sh Magic Away Liquid Concealers by Charlotte Tilbury. These are my favorite concealers right now and they have been for several months now. If you guys have been following my channel, you know that every time I do a get ready with me or if I do like a live and I'm doing my makeup on Instagram or anything like that, you guys always see these in my videos is because they're just, it's so good. And I don't know why that she considers this like a full coverage concealer because I definitely don't. I think it's something that's very sheer 
to buildable, but it could also be like medium. There are days where I don't want to wear any makeup, but my under eyes are just like super intense from like pulling like a super long late night from like editing and stuff. So sometimes I'll just take a little bit and I'll just buff it into my skin and just tap it out. And it just tends to just take away that darkness, but it doesn't look cakey. I just started using number eight because it is a little bit more olive toned, um, but I like this one as well because it is a little bit lighter, so I get that highlighted effect. So I would definitely recommend this if you are looking for like a more natural approach to concealer and don't need like a ton of coverage. This is definitely a concealer you should check out. This will come no surprise to you guys at all. This is the Golden Radiance tinted moisturizer and it's in the illuminating version everybody needs a tinted moisturizer you know what I mean like not everyone wants to be rocking like a full face of foundation every single day the original Laura Mercier is amazing but when they came out with an illuminating version I was totally sold it never leaves my makeup bag because I, I just genuinely love the way it looks on the skin um, I'm blending it out right now and you guys can kind of see like do you see like the light that reflects off of that? Like it's so good. Next thing I kind of want to touch on is just this cream contour. It's also by Charlotte Tilbury. It is the contour wand in medium dark. Um, I really like this because it just, it really blends into my skin really well and it doesn't leave it being really patchy. I've tried different cream contours. This one has really been great because I like the sponge tip applicator. I do tend to take a brush and kind of rub my brush over it and then like paint it on. I like that you have two shades to pick from. First shade is, it's lighter and it's not as deep as this one, but I do love this one for like a nice contour and you could really do like a snatched contour with this too. So love this liquids and creams tend to just fit better and like just mesh better with skin in my opinion i just think powders tend to sit on the skin more so than blend in with the skin to make it look more natural you get what i'm saying i'm saying natural dewy soft all those adjectives in this video a lot so please don't make this a drinking game because you might get sick really love these products you guys know how redundant i've been when it comes to nude sticks i've never been quiet about how much I love their products. I mean, they've been around for a long time, but I would say in the last year, they've just like exploded. And these are my two go-tos right now. It is Sunkiss Sun Strip, and I also have Deep Maple A. So Sunkiss is definitely my 100% all-time favorite go-to one. It's just this really gorgeous color. Whenever I see a blush this color, especially as a cream, it makes me so excited because it's just the best color and especially with summer coming around it just is the perfect like tan yet rosy but a little bit of like terracotta in it I don't know it's just done so well to the point where when you blend it into your skin it really is just such a natural flush and you don't have to set it either which is really great it kind of sets to a powder so it, you're able to really blend it into the skin I also have these two other shades that I think you guys will also really like sunset strip is a really great color I do use it just like a little tiny kiss right at the apples of my cheek to like just blend it in a little bit and then this one's also another great staple but this one is just a little bit deeper Deeper. It is a very maple-y color. Um, it's going to be a little dark, but it is really nice on the apples of the cheek. I do love this shade for my skin tone. Um, I definitely think if you have a deeper skin tone, you'll truly love this shade as well. I have one bronzer because this is the only bronzer that's really just stuck around. Like everything else I've either like donated, given away. This is a product that hasn't left my site in years. And it is the NARS Casino Bronzer. Now they reformulated their packaging. I mean, sorry, they reformulated their product. It's no longer super powdery. It is still a powder product, but it's not going to come off um, really like powdery. There's not going to be a ton of kickback when you, you put your brush in it. It's just pressed in a way that allows enough pigment to be picked up by the brush, but also enough to just give a really soft, buildable look with this. The thing is with bronzers is that you don't want to go too heavy too quickly because once you start going, it's hard to like retract, right? So it is really nice the way that they press this in a sense because you can never go too heavy with it. It's not completely matte. See how it kind of has like a little bit of a a light reflects from it. It's just a great product and I think it's 
the bronzer of my dreams. It's my favorite one. I don't know if you guys have seen this product in a really long time, but I think I've been using it a little bit off camera. At one point I thought it got discontinued, but apparently it's not discontinued. So I'm gonna have to link it down below. All these products will be linked down below, obviously. But this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, but this is the poured version. It is a cream highlight, which I think is fantastic. It is truly very, very pigmented. It's very tacky. Like you can see how it's leaving those prints and stuff. This is in the shade Opal. I do love this and I want to see if they have other shades because this one I've had for a really long time. It really blends in this with the skin. I'm telling you guys, if you're wanting to not look so makeup-y, try like cream and liquid products. I haven't tried like tons of them, but this one's definitely one of my faves. It's just good and it's so compact and easy to travel with. So this is the Laura Mercier Gilded Honey Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator. This is the shit. I really love the tone of this because a lot of highlights, if it's too silvery on a more tan skin tone, it's gonna look really weird. Love the way the shade is, the formulation, the strength of the actual like highlight is not too intense. It really is really soft. I mean, it's not soft, it's mild. Highlight. I wouldn't say it's like a spicy or like a super hot highlight. I would say it's like a it's like a mild. It's pretty mild. And I think it works well on a lot of skin tones. It just doesn't give me that like powdery chalky look. You can go crazy with this too, like to the point where it'll look like boom, 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 but in a very nice way. It's not too intense, if you know what I mean. It doesn't feel like I'm violating people's space with like my highlight projecting too far. It just it's it's a nice amount of highlight in my opinion. This is the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara by Hourglass. Um, if you guys have watched my other videos, you know I truly love this mascara. Um, I did just get a new one because I ran out of it like a week ago. However, I will say that this mascara, with age and time, it gets better. I don't know what it is, but right now I'm still like kind of having to work with it because it is so liquidy. Um, it's to the point where I'm going like this a lot because I'm trying to put more air into it so that it gets to the point where it's like it coats it so perfectly and just like it pulls your lashes up. It keeps them so long and spidery and they just look so amazing. I love this mascara. It looks really good and it looks good on the bottom lashes too. So. 100% recommend. The other one I want to talk about is this. You guys have heard my journey and me talking about liquid eyeliners here on my channel. They're always transferring all this stuff, yada, 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 yada. And you guys came through. This is why I love y'all because you know what I need. And all of you guys were telling me, Stila, stay all day, liquid waterproof eyeliner. And I was like, okay, going and getting it. I literally put this on the next day, wore all day, no transfer, nothing. Like, it was amazing. This stuff does not move. It's so good. The brush is perfect. It's a felt tip liner, so it's really gonna give you that nice um, swing effect. And it's not too liquidy. It sets to a point where it's not super matte, but it is just like, it's more of like a satin. They knocked it out of the park with this one. So great job, Stila. I'm definitely gonna pick up a brown and maybe some other colors to try out because this formulation I'm never parting with truly is the best one. So good. Next one is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Comb on this is so nice to the point where it combs my brow hairs so nicely that I can get that really like bushy effect. I don't like brow gels that have color. I like t like clear brow gels because that's the only way my heart will go on is with a brow gel. I just it gets too messy. I don't like it when it looks heavy on the on the front. I just need it to look perfect. So I love this because it just makes it so wispy. Your brow hairs all get combed, and you can have so much control. Um, and I really love this, and I continue to buy it over and over and over again. If you don't have a lot of brow hairs, but you want that, like, Cara Delevingne, not that I have Cara Delevingne, but it just, like, it makes your bra eyebrows look a little bit bushier and, like, fuller, if you know what I mean. Now, I get tons of questions about my lips. If you guys didn't know, I do get lip filler in my lips, so if you want to see the process and all that stuff, I have a vlog dedicated solely to it, so I'll link it down below for you guys, or, or I'll put it up here as a suggestion to watch. I get tons of questions from you guys about what lip liners and lip products I use to get like really pouty lips. A, I get filler, so that's like, that's let's start with that. And then um, I also get um, these guys. These are my favorite lip liners. Um, this one I just recently ran out of. Marc Jacobs Pout 
pout liner longwear lip pencil and I get mine in these two shades they have so many different shades O Coco and nudist so O Coco is my favorite to line now I have pretty pigmented lips to begin with so I can't just use any type of nude lip liner I have to use one that's a little bit more deeper and this one is pretty deep so if you have um, medium to darker skin tone and a little bit more pigmented lips this is the color you want to go for is O Coco because you're gonna be able to really line your lips pigmentation of it is perfect where it goes on really smoothly it won't like bleed or anything like that this one actually you have a lot of control I love the way the formulation of it it's not too glide on and it's also not too like stiff it goes on really nicely but nudist is also really nice I like using this one too because it's a really nice shade that I like to fill in my lips with I also use whirl too because it is a little bit more on like the purpley side but like I said, my lips are really pigmented so I can get away with using like a shade like this. Um, it's not the best shade. This is a little bit more exact to my lip color. Lipsticks and lip glosses. This is my everyday like go-to one. It's the Marc Jacobs Lip Cream in J'adore. It's a gorgeous brown nude. Um, pretty much everyone knows what it is now because apparently Emily Ratajkowski uses it. So... It's always sold out. I had to like go on the hunt to get my second tube because I couldn't find it anywhere. Then this one, you can't find it in stores anymore. The only place I can find is on Amazon, but this is the best nude out there. It's a perfect like beige, tan nude. Look at that color. Can we just talk about that? It looks so freaking good. Um, it's a perfect nude for me. It's hard for me to find nudes because a lot of nudes are a little too light or they're too peachy or they're too pink. This one, like, it's more of a brown tone. I'm more of like a brown tone nude. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Paints and it's the matte version and it's in the shade 346 Festival. So I'll link it down below because you can only get it on Amazon. Also have, as my favorite gloss, this is the one and only Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. It's the best. It makes you look like you have the biggest lips on the earth. So after my lip filler, the first time I had gotten my lip filler done, my lips like deflated obviously because lip filler dissolves over time. I started using this and all my friends were asking me like, did you get your lips done again? And I'm like, no, I swear I did it. And it just gives you that like super pouty, like really juicy effect and especially in pictures, especially now that I have filler in again, it gets a little crazy sometimes. So I try not to go ham with the gloss, but sometimes I'm like feeling it. You know what I mean? And the last product I want to talk to you guys about, wow, this is the longest makeup essentials video. I'm pretty sure this is like 45 minute video, but that's okay. This is amazing. And the reason why I'm talking about it is because I love Mac Fix Plus and I loved the coconut version. I don't know if those are permanent anymore. I think they actually are. But anyway, my point is, is that the Wet n Wild one is like a dupe. Why I'm obsessed with it is the spray in this is like so, it disperses so much product, like evenly distur it distributes it, you know what I mean? It's not just like, pfft, like you're getting like shot in the face. It just feels so nice, it smells amazing. There's also a cucumber one and I think a rose one, but the coconut one's the best in my opinion. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water, so you can prime, you can refresh, you can set whatever um, but it's really good I love the way it makes my skin look once I use it it's not matte because we ain't about that matte life um, okay you guys so that concludes my makeup essentials video these are all products that I absolutely love as you guys could tell definitely leave me a comment below letting me know what your makeup essentials are I would love to know because I need to get into it and like find some other stuff to try out and you guys always give like the best recommendations too so leave your comments down below on what products I should check out don't forget to check out my Instagram and also don't forget to subscribe thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video Bye!